so y'all know in two days or in a couple of days or today whenever you see this video um the sun is going to be moving into sagittarius what does that mean that means you're about to stride out into new territory okay you're going to be more passionate more driven you're going to be one to seek adventures you're going to stop settling for peoples and things okay so sagittarius um season is definitely going to be more um adventurous and and more have you more outgoing and more interested in um, learning yourself and, and what you like to do, okay? So what does my collective need to know for Sagittarius season? Something about family is here, okay? Um, resolving family stress or getting support from your family for something. Um, solitude. So you might be coming out of a solitude because like I said, this season is more uh, more adventurous, more passion-driven. Um, so you could have been silence or introspection going deep within, especially coming out of Scorpio season. You know, that's your emotion. Scorpio season was intense for a lot of people. So you could have been in solitude during Scorpio season. You're about to come out. Okay. Yeah, because it's time to go in a new direction. Detour, slow down, explore. Maybe this was something you had to think about. And that's why you were in solitude or something like that. We are approaching a winter season. And it said maybe you felt left out in the cold, but your answers are about to arrive in winter. Okay, maybe while you were in that solitude, you were um, creating a sacred space for yourself. This could be an altar, prayer, candles, communing with your own divinity. Something of that nature, okay? So... Let's clarify these. What are you talking about with family during Sagittarius season? What does the collective need to know about family during the Sagittarius season? Okay. What about solitude and hidden path? The fact that they come and out flipped over like that is crazy. All right. At the bottom, we have the magician. So definitely about to make some shit happen. About to do some, shake some, okay? King and Queen of Swords at the bottom. So this could be a couple. I don't know. It could be love here. Maybe that's the family they're talking about. Not a pinnacle. So stable but stubborn. Something was stable but stubborn. This could have been family. Um, you could be growing a family now. I actually want to see why the Knight of Pentacles came out with family. Um, this was something that was that's been slowly building. Yeah, maybe you were indecisive about something at one point or some surrounding family, but now you're going to be more decisive. Your mind is going to be made up a little bit more. Um, if this is talking about love for you um, with family, this could be saying that like you're setting some type of uh, romantic goals or making plans for the future for family. Like I said, this, this is something that's been... Um, Steady and stable, but a little stubborn and, and slow coming. But this could be something that you're maybe working more on during um, Sagittarius season. Because you were in solitude thinking about something. Yes, yeah, Seven of Cups, you had options. So maybe you're going to choose an option to settle down and have a family with. I don't know. I don't know. It's 333 on the timer. But plenty of options. Plenty of options is what the Seven of Cups talks about, okay? Um, so you did have to retreat and self-reflect over these options. Why the seven of cups? Yeah, look, and maybe one of these options even broke your heart or disappointed you or something with that three of swords. So you definitely had to retreat. Okay. Now you're about to go in a new direction. Yes. Oh my God. Something was, something did have you sad. And then, like I said, these are the water cup, water cups. These are the cups. And you know, that's the water signs. We just left Scorpio season. So something had you sad. And that is possibly why you're going in a new direction. You're going to have your boundaries up. You're going to be more guarded and you're going to like protect yourself a little bit more. What's this hidden path? Oh, God. Yeah, you were dealing with something that was very low vibrational. You're definitely cutting that out your energy. Yes. I don't know what this is, but it was stressing you. It was a lot on your plate. So now you're ready to go in this new direction. And remember, this says stride out into new territory. So what is the overall main energy for this? Okay. Okay. New beginning. New beginning. And the fa it came out fast as fuck. Okay. New beginning, especially with leaving something from your past or something dealing with family. 
So I don't know what this is for you. If it resonates, let me know. Let's get a final message. Sagittarius season. So you're going to be, dang, going for a new beginning in Sagittarius season. So at the bottom, it says, I am ambitious and motivated. That's something to remember during this season. You got practice chakra healing. You did go into solitude, you know, so maybe you need to work on your heart chakra, throat chakra, something. Here it says, identify and remove toxic people around you. That's that devil card. Identify and remove toxic people around you. That's what you've been doing or did or going to do. Because you're, you're going, that's how you're going towards this new direction and this new beginning. Radiate confidence. So you're going to, you're going to be more confident to make the decisions that you're making. And they want you to remember overall, your energy is sacred. Your energy is sacred. So these are the messages I have for Sagittarius season. Um, I really hope this resonates and helps somebody. Let me know in the comments below.